Alright, good morning ladies and gentlemen. We are Planted Poultry and our team is here today to revolutionize plant-based chicken. I'm Connor, this is Ellie, Jessica, Suen, and Chloe. So why is it that we're looking at chicken? Well, in the past few decades, U.S. per capita meat consumption has been rising at an unprecedented rate and most of the meat that's being consumed is chicken. There are more chickens killed every year in the United States than there are people in the entire world. But the problem is that plant-based meats are not really a powerful alternative because they just don't taste good and taste is the top driver in food selection. And so that's why we're here. We're going to look at taste, aesthetic appeal, juiciness, and flavor and mix all of these things together to make a powerful plant-based meat alternative that can compete with the real deal. And so here's some of the other products in the landscape. As you'll see, most of them are generally lacking in one of these categories, and we're here to combine all of them. So we want to introduce you guys to our first product, which is the chicken yum stick. <laughs> okay, so this is yum stick. So why, uh, so yum stick is our first product developed by uh, Planet Portrait. So why we choose uh, yum steak and it's a chicken uh, it's a plant-based chicken drumstick and we chose chicken drumstick to start with because it has a simple and beautiful structure so basically you need three pieces of meat and you need a bone and need something like like a skin that you can wrap them into a chicken <coughs> drumstick um, so here's all the ingredients for uh, our yum steak so uh, we have ingredients for the meat the skin the bone and also we have ingredients for a more complex texture and Okay, you can also see uh, out of all the ingredients, uh, our yam steak is even better than the real chicken leg. So to compete with real chicken, we really want to maintain uh, or replicate that chicken muscle structure. So we chose for our processing method to use high moisture extrusion because that gives us optimal texture because there's minimal protein denaturation, meaning there's less overall heating and we can really retain um, our texture. Okay, so here is our timeline. Uh, so we want to focus on um, R&D and customer discovery for the first two years. And then like once we uh, launch our product, we want to start with reaching out 100 Bay Area restaurants and then attempt to reach 500 restaurants. And we want to expand to nationwide and once we achieve that, hopefully we will launch our product in the grocery store. And of course, like, well, during this process, we always uh, want to fine tune our distribution channels. So we're focusing our consumer discovery base in California, which is why we have this like baby market that's only California. And $500 million annually are spent on dark chicken meat by consumers in California. But if you expand that to the United States, that comes to somewhere between 10 and $15 billion uh, spent by consumers and 8 and $13 billion wholesale. So we really want to focus on the customer discovery because we really want to figure out which kinds of consumers are really going to like our product. So this is our first phase and we will use uh, farmers markets, food trucks, and Cal students or other college students. And our second phase, which we predict will be our target market, is Bay Area restaurants and Gen Z and millennial flexitarian. And the second group in particular because we really feel that they're the ones pushing towards a more healthy and sustainable diet. And then of course, the world. So in terms of our costs, we split it up into two different um, sections where most of our money is going to be allocated. So the number one um, would be our machinery rentals that would include the twin screw extruder and our Yuba maker, as well as wages to compete in the Bay Area. And on the next slide, we see that most of our costs are for marketing, um, consumer understanding, and uh, market testing, and the actual manufacturing and the distribution of our product. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. So we have four minutes for Q&A. Let's start with Peter. 